Can't help us. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Clavis Brood On Band.
Yes. 
Hello and welcome to another edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh, along with the Clavis Brudon Band. And this is a special kind of show for us because we are not going to talk a lot because you had just heard their music. And you now, Otis Doncaster has been on our show before, and he is a part of a few bands, so he put together this all-star collaboration. And... Uh, you just heard how good they are, and I am sure that you are going to be seeing them out on the road. And when you do, stop in and say hi and tell them Talking Tunes sent you. So, let me introduce Otis Doncaster. Otis, welcome aboard. Why don't you go around the horn and introduce these guys? Thank you, Frank. Uh, John Bruner on the far end. The voice, Stephen Clark here. The voice. And Kevin Visnasket up on the guitar behind me. Um, I actually wasn't the one that put this band together. Steven was doing a trio, and I did a gig with them once, and they asked me to join after that, and the rest is history. Mm. Yeah, I thought you had better taste than that. <laughs> uh, well, no, it's, it's funny how it happens, but it basically Kevin, John, and I met all Otis at the same exact time at a jam. But uh, yeah. I, we, I always wanted to play with Otis uh, in the recent years, and it just happened to work out perfectly where we were doing a trio. and Right. We have a we had another bigger band, Kevin, John, and I, and it worked out. And he showed up, and right after the, that first night that he sat in, we I talked to Kevin and John. Hey, you think you should join the band? Oh yeah, what's happening? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's making a four piece, huh? you know. It's the rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, you know, thanks for coming in today. I mean, thanks you guys had a had a long way to travel, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this a little bit casual today because they got here very early because they just wanted to play, <laughs> and uh, they had set up, and I said, you know what, go for it. So our esteemed director, Roxanne Morris, and I, and the rest of the people here at Smack, we're just sitting around listening <coughs> to these guys rock and roll. So uh, I want to thank you for that. Actually, it's more just a lousy one, more <laughs> one more point I want to make to give these guys a plug. because they're, Just one? Just they're one? Incredible, in an incredible band called The Installers. Yes. Which was uh, award-winning from in the Worcester area. Big band like Roomful. And, uh, man, those guys were good. I just want to... Mm -hmm. I'm a plug because mm -hmm. I'm lucky enough to be playing with them now. No, I know and that you would play. You. We played in a couple of bands. We were chatting off here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Where did you come from? Well, Kevin, Kevin Vizaskis and I uh, play in a band called Eastwood Peak, and we've been together since 1974. <laughs> wow. So uh, Boy, we've been playing too. together for a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. cool. Great rock and roll band. Right. As good as it gets. Now, as far as uh, putting yourself together, I know that, you know, you would come from different bands. You know, how easy or difficult was it for the four of you to mesh together and create the incredible harmonies that you have? The harmonies took a little bit of time, I think. Yeah. yeah. But you not know, bad, it's, but... It's surprising. We worked at the harmonies, and um, after playing them out, we realized, whoa, where's, where's all that sound coming from? Right. It just seemed to gel. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. What about you, young man? And a lot of I'm just thinking a lot of the things. Um, mainly, we've been in like bigger bands. Uh -huh. It's just very nice to all of a sudden where you can hear a, a pin drop. Yes, the acoustic stuff uh -huh. like that. And then, and kind of, I think that really brought along things a lot quicker than we thought it would, as far as meshing and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. Well, we can actually hear each other. We can hear the harmonies. We can hear the... <laughs> now, you know, you were all playing, I'm sure you were playing rock and roll, you were playing some blues, you probably have those kind of roots, and now you seem to have veered off a little bit into, what do you call it? I love what you call it when you put it all together. A mera blue <laughs> gospel grass or whatever. <laughs> With the emphasis on the grass, grass. right, Otis? <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't say that. But basically, yeah, not. so we just do everything. We do with Americana and bluegrass and gospel and country. If I'm you ask me, yeah, if you ask me four I, years ago. I don't know ago, how much they played it before me, but I've been pushing. If you ask me four years ago, let, let alone uh, uh, sing guitar, uh, sing a country song, but play guitar in a country song, I would have said you were off your rocker. Because, really? I, yeah, and then all of a sudden, I just, we started bringing country songs, and I like doing it now, so. Right. I like all music, you know? Right. Now, have you guys been out playing around? You played any gigs? You play any halls or any, right. any place? Uh, you know, I know you play a lot, but I'm not sure. What kind of places do you play? 
We don't really play the North Shore. We're some for, are from Southern New Hampshire. So okay, we, we are playing there coming up though. We do uh, we do the Merrimack Bud Plant in Merrimack. It, okay, it, you know, it's a sure. great place to play. Um, we'll play pretty much anywhere where they'll pay us. <laughs> Central Mass, we got the, we got Garden Rail House. We got a, a benefit coming up for Blues for Troops, and uh, nice on May. 5th. Fifth, and that's up in Middleton, Mass. There's going to be a bunch of bands there. Uh, Lee Hawkins band. And I then, love uh, Lee. Actually, I've been to those the last I couple think, of years. Yeah, we're, we're going to be playing there, and there's going to be a bunch of other guys. I don't Is that know. a breakaway? No, it's at the American Legion. The Legion, in, okay. Because uh, Lee used to hold it at the breakaway up there on Rule yeah. One. So we're doing that, and then and then we got uh, well, these guys are. He's, they share a birthday on April 18th, so cool. we're doing a little, he's getting, he got it together, so we're going to do a big uh, little shindig. Big six goal for me. I was going to say, you both hit legal drinking age, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm the youngest in the band. I might look the oldest, but I'm the youngest in the band. Right, so. right. <laughs> now, and the loudest. <laughs> and the loudest. Now, um, you guys have uh, contact information, like a website or a Facebook page Facebook or something page. that you, people you can, can find get us out. on Facebook, and uh, you can find us on Facebook. And that's the name of your band, right? Clavis Brudons. I want to thank Roxanne Morris and everybody here at Smack for helping put this show together. And as always, I want you to go out and support your local musicians. Nothing so, like live music. Live music, amen. And I, so once again, guys, thank you so thank much you. for coming. Thank you, Jack. It, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And for Correct. Roxanne Morris, I am Frank Walsh. As always, tune in and tune on. Music is joy. Thanks.